So what do you think of that Fat Lenny remix, Lenny? Hey, very creative, but I did it, and I'm going to get paid. All right, you know, I'm not going to be used. What do you think, you're using me? You're going to use me? I don't think so, pal. See how the abs are coming in, folks, at 340? 340, they're coming in. My peaks. When are you competing, Lenny? August, October 25th. Back. It's like three barn doors next to each other. Yeah. 340. So I plan on being over 300. Damn. Now, I thought I just saw. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up? We gotta explain this right now. Let's do this. All right. Wait. Okay, what's up, everybody? It's uh, it's Monday, July 7th. It is 1.35 in the afternoon. Jason and I have kind of called a little impromptu session here at the gym uh, this afternoon. I was here this morning, Jason was not. I was kind of surprised, but he just called me up. We met here at the gym. Jason wants to use this opportunity to jump on my YouTube channel, which I don't have a problem with at all, to discuss some of the, the situations with his YouTube channel. So Jason, floor is yours. I'm not banned from YouTube, I'm suspended. Basically somebody flagged down my videos and says got me uh, suspended. What, what doesn't make any sense, I don't know why people are hating, but what's the problem with that? I don't know why they're hating just because I'm not on their friend list and it's not a really big deal suspending me, but it's, it's just not right, it's not cool to do that. I don't know why people are flagging down my videos, it's just not cool, but my page is still here, look, see? You just can't uh, log into it. See, it's it's been, it's been locked because I've been suspended, I've been on bad reserve, so it's still there, the page is still there, it's just locked, and people are still subscribing for somehow, I don't know how, but they're, they're still subscribing. Okay, so, basically, in a nutshell, what, your page is not gone forever, yes? No, it's not, look, got, it's, it's there. We got Big Lenny in the background lifting, so I'm gonna film him lift a little bit of weights. Uh, it's not blocked. Look, it's right there. Jason Genoma. All right, so you're not deleted off YouTube. You haven't been terminated. Your account has been suspended for a few days, yes? Suspended, I don't know. Chad's going to reopen and try to appeal So Chad's it. on the case, right? Chad's on the case. So someone's working on it for yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. All right, so there you have it, folks. Um, I'm never here at the gym at this time, so this is kind of cool. Lenny's here, Marcus here with the huge arms. Jason's here, he's going to train a little bit. Maybe I'll film him and I'll put it into the next Misfit. Um, episode. Film some Lenny too. Look at big. Look at that. Look at fat fucker Lenny in the background lurking. Oh no. <laughs> hey Lenny. Where's all my challengers at? <laughs> what? Where's all these challengers at? What challenge? I'm gonna issue a specific challenge. Mel Chauncey. C H A U N C E U. Who's that? That's as a nobody. But. He apparently likes to run his mouth and tell stories about how bad he is. Well, I want you, Chauncey, and you can come and you can I tell you what. Here's a stipulation: you can bring your pliers and try to rip these teeth out of the head like you so claimed. Some 120-pound piece of garbage. <laughs> I could buy that for a dollar. You got that? You people can look him up. Mel Chauncey. <laughs> That's just fucking great. So-called Hell's Angel. Like, that's supposed to scare me? Bunch of fat, beer-drinking cowards. Join a group like that. World Gym, Del Rey. So get down here. Instagram, I'm looking lean. Big, Big Lenny is, uh, Big Lenny's in stalker mode. I, I, see, I see you in stalker mode. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like black tights on a girl that trains her legs. See, this is a great thing about coming here at 1.30 in the afternoon for me, Lenny. I'm never here at this time, so I see all different sorts of talent that I never see at 6 in the morning. Yeah. Very nice. I'm not going to film her, but very nice. You never know. No. Never know. Never know. Stand right here, you got a perfect film view as far as I'm concerned. Really? So any, the, uh, any of you viewers want to put up some money to bury my head where it belongs? Who wants to see that? 
<laughs> fucking hilarious, fucking great. You know what I like about, I'll tell you the story about Jason. The first time I met Jason, yeah. I was with my partner Andrew, you know, the big venture. Uh, by the way, that, the that video is doing great, by the way, that power lifting. Did you see it yeah. after I uploaded it? Okay. Be able to do that. We saw Jason on the leg press and he had that thing loaded. And this was like eight years ago. And he did rep after rep after rep, screaming and yelling. He was forcing out the reps. One of the most intense scents we've ever saw. And we're like, who is that guy? So we came up and started talking and we hit it off. Yeah, that's how we And I'll tell you another funny story about Jason. You know, the gym was packed here at prime time. This is about five or six years ago. And Jason walked up to the front desk, grabbed a stack of business cards. You know, they're blank on the end, grabbed a pen. And he went up to each member. He was nice enough to go up to each member and say, today's your lucky day. You can have my autograph for free because in a year or two, you'll be paying for it. <laughs> he signed it and he was nice enough to pass one out to each member. Yep. Did you really do that? Yeah, I did. I really we did thought it. that was very, very nice. Very philanthropic. Yep. Yes. Now he charges five dollars for shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking this fucking guy. He used to give out autographs for free and now it's five bucks a shout out. Of course Mr. Uh, use my image. Start sending the funds to you know where they, where to, to mail it. Uh, look like well, I'm three months out, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Lenny, I think the folks want to see you lift some weights. All right, I'm going to do a what? set of incline flies here. Okay. Too bad you guys missed all the heavy compound stuff. Yeah, as I walked in, you were finishing up your last set. Now we're set. going to do the sissy movements, which probably 90% of you viewers thinks is a mainstay. And I'll be doing more weight on the incline flies and some of you wimps bench. So, keep that in mind. Just looking to the left for a little inspiration, if you know what I mean. I'm... Uh... I'm doing, I'm doing the same, Lenny. Show the viewers. Can't get the I, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let them use their imagination. Okay. That's what scares me. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually it scares sure me too. Their filthy imaginations. Got me to be so. All right, so Lenny is hitting some dumbbell flies right here. Yeah. Little wind finishing stuff. You can put your shirt now. You can put your shirt on now, Chief. The uh, the, the, the photo shoot is over, Jason. <laughs> and as me and my partner Andrew would like to say before our sets, I'm sick of this shit. Meaning, I'm sick of using these girl weights. I should be doing double, but that's what the goal is. You set a goal. All right. Perfect form. See you, Lenny. It's more weight than you wimps out there bench press. And this is all hugging, hugging motion. Like you people hug your blow up dolls when they're not looking at your porn. <laughs> That's right! Lil Chauncey! 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 For you, Chauncey! Some calcification <laughs> of your left elbow. What is that? Just a little bit pointer than usual. Calcification of the left elbow. Interesting diagnosis made by uh, sickening Big Lenny. I'm looking sick. Though. Calcification of the left elbow, huh? Yes. What does that indicate, calcium Doc? Deposits. It would indicate the calcium going to that area to protect and cover for some inflammation. Now we can't have anything happen to Jason. He's like our thoroughbred. I just loved how he backs up 
my diagnosis. It makes me feel like I'm spot on. Now let's see some intensity, Jason. Oh, for all these haters. Oh. How about the people making more money than you driving the better cars? Oh. Living the better lifestyle. Oh. With each rep. Oh. Jay Cutler. Oh. With his homes and his oh. shoes. Fucking haters. Oh. I don't see Jay putting that kind of intensity out anymore. Am I uh, hearing Coach Lenny in the future, perhaps? Absolutely. Coach Lenny, Jason, what do you think? I think that would be great. Well, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I, I just saw some uh, some pretty good intensity there with him behind you barking in your ear. Yeah. Coach Lenny, I like the sound of it. You gotta get your mind into it. Like this gym, when you're at a gym, it's like a war. Let me tell you another thing about gym etiquette. You know, we, we rack the weights is obvious. Use a towel, as you can see. And I always let people work in as I do. But, don't ever come in and tell somebody how you doing. When you're focused and you're coming to war, is that what happened when the guys in World War I were on the trenches? When you look across the trench and there's the Germans with their helmets and the point on the top, how you doing? How you doing? No, this is the same thing. And if everybody ever tells me that again, number one, you'll be ignored. Number two, I may go off on you. That's improper gym etiquette. Getting people off the frame of mind. Let's go 60s, baby. That's right. It's a war, Jason. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Lenny. Very impressive. Great tension. Now, of course, there's some days we're tired. We're not into it. And you know what? Back in the day, me and my partner, Andrew, what we would do is look around the gym, see if there's any girl we may have liked, or a guy that had a little size and some strength. we do one of two things. Go up to the guy and get in his face, say if you want to go outside and fight, or you go up to the girl, you ask her out. If she says yes, so what the hell? If not, hey, use that for motivation. You take it out in the next set. And if the guy wants to fight, great. And then he gets you in that right frame of mind to lift. And of course, there's nothing personal about it. You know, once we're out of this gym, you know, I don't even know who they are. And what if he says, yeah, let's go fight right now. Let's go. And you, would, you, and you, would, and you would have just done never it? Never back down, never will, ever. All right, Coach, what's your assessment? That's your place that Jason holds butt. Oh, he's eyeing me up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at Jason. I better watch what I say. <laughs> he's gonna headbutt you. <laughs> but he's in off-season shape, so it's no problem. No, it's not problem. We can get that off. <laughs> I'm gonna Jason has a death stare, man. Yes, when, ja does. when Jason gives you that death stare, it's like, you better rethink what it is you're about to say. If you've heard of the eye of the tiger, <laughs> he's the eye of the tiger shark. He gave Brad the death stare in the last Misfit episode. Yeah. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Look at that face. It's like a shark waiting to bite into a seal right into the blubber. He gets that look on his face. Uh. That's how you got to come in here. Oh. Mm. Lenny is killing me off camera today, man. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh, come on. Is that the way? Is that how Ian McCarthy showed you how to do them? I remember he taught you, but I'm I don't so I don't even remember. That was so long ago. <laughs> Getting ready to do my last finishing move. Get the stretch reflex on the pectoral muscles for my bread and butter pose, the most muscular, which is what people come to see. 
get Andrew back here. I want to see him, bro. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, he's going to be a freak. Is he ever going to come back and visit? He, he's going to come back as a freak. He's going to come back at 300 pounds ripped. So he's going to surprise everybody. He's saying that? That's what he's saying? Yes, we're working on it as we speak. Yeah. Is he coming back here? He'll be back. He'll be making an appearance real soon. Is he going to live down here again? Yeah. Good. He's going to live down here. I, go, I, go, I, go, I miss him, bro. He should come and see my condo. Him and Mark are going to have a bench contest because Mark's on his heels. <laughs> Tell him that. Hey, Mark's hey, on his heels. Lenny, you should come to That'll my house. That'll give you some motivation. You should, you should come to my house and see him. Yeah. You should come, I'll pick you up one day and you can come and look at it. As really long nice. as there's some girls there. And some dark ones and some thick ones. He's nice, bro. Nice well, girl. We'll find out. I already found out, bro. She, came, she was from Facebook and she was. You found out. I did found you get into more detail? Yeah. What did you guys do? We're, 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 we're hugging each other and sleeping. Hugging, hugging each and other. Sleeping and fornicating <laughs> before a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have to use the right terminology. You have to say, have you shown her your lightsaber? That's what Jason Not under... Yet. <laughs> Not yet? No lightsaber, uh, no lightsaber games? Too early. It's only been like two or three days. Come on, man. Sometimes all you need is two or three hours and you're, and, and, and you're hitting it. Two or three days. <laughs> Did she cook you any meals besides... Yes, yes. You, you got to yes. work, work faster yes, than that. Yes, she cleaned me, cooked. Yep. She cleaned you? She cleaned, cleaned In the what house. way? What she area? cleaned the house. The house. And cooked. Can I borrow her for a day? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she cooks and cleans? Send her to, send her to my That's house a when you're done with her, yeah. It's Does anybody beautiful. teach their daughter to cook and clean? Anymore? I just don't want Jason's sloppy seconds. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. She's cooking fish and cooking good food, good healthy food for me. Keeping me in line. That's why I'm losing all the damn Guess what? Food. I had no girls. You know what? I'm going to think about that. You're over there getting cooking and cleaning done for you, and I'm over there in my dump suffering. <laughs> That's why I'm going to think about this on this set. Oh, you made him angry. <laughs> you haven't seen angry at all. <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> oh, Again, no. more weight than people use ever. After all the basics, strict. I'm going to show you people what intensity is. Oh. I'll be here all freaking day. Ah, oh, sick. <clears throat> Oh, that's gonna make such a great gift. You, Lenny, you have no idea. That's gonna be, that's gonna be made into a sickening gif. You can count on that. All right, Jason, you, hit me, upper back, let's go. Harder, come on. Collapse my bum, Jason. That was nothing. It was nothing. This gym has a flea problem, if a bunch of fleas landed on my back. What is the new challenge, Lenny? What's the new challenge? Come over and get me motivated. Hit me between sets. Like Andrew used to do. He said, knock me, almost knock my teeth out. Knock me face forward. <laughs> for the record, he's talking about the other Andrew. Yeah. He lifted me up and pressed me for reps, too, when I was 400 pounds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, this is... And there's no lies coming out of my mouth. You guys saw the strength. I'm surprised I got 90. I, was, I never knew I was that fucking strong. You know why? You only use a, a smidgen of your mind. Yeah. It's all you people out there. So much negativity. You're told from day one, you can't do this. You're going to get hurt. This, that, and the other. You got to do this. Women got to go to school. No, you don't. You got to go balls out. Make yourself a superman. Women know, you know how to raise kids and cook. And take care of the man so they make him Superman. That's why you got a bunch of douchebags running around. No one's a real man anymore. It's no secret. And like I predicted, unless things change, we're going to be a satellite nation of the Chinese. And then you'll see what slave labor's like. It's not going to happen to me or us. Me or Mark, nobody. We'll go down fighting just like the real men did. 
and it starts in here. It's a great thing about it. You're going through pain, you're pushing through pain. And people just don't want to do that anymore. Jason on the phone with his uh, his hoe. Yeah. Jason's getting a, a YouTube account update from his boy Chad. Lenny, I am uh, gonna hit the road, man. But I'm glad I stopped in here today. Yeah, I'm really glad you came, Andrew. Always good to see you, brother. And, uh, Thank you, we've known each other a long time. Yeah, since 1990, people don't realize I said the last time I filmed you, I've known you since 1998. So it just goes to show time. anybody. I, you know, talk to a girl, get turned down seven times, you get three out of 10, you get a good response, you're batting 300. It's an all-star, it's all favor in baseball. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Coach Lenny. And of course, no one has my looks, my tan and my teeth, and my charismatic personality. With the exception of Jason Genova, I mean, he's on another level. But I'm going to get to there, you know. He's got his business, he's rolling in dough. He's more famous than me, but secretly, um, I will surpass him. That's my goal. And it starts right here with the last set of intensity. You hit it, Lenny. Now, if I can build upon the last set... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on this note. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about all these people hitting the nightclubs. While I'm sleeping, buying fancy clothes when I'm buying at Walmart. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Everybody getting high and drinking, not me. Eating, sleeping, and training. Oh, yeah. Dude. Dude. Oh.